happy birthday, Catherine. Her mom Thanks, just made guys. the most beautiful, yummy cupcakes. My mom works ever. at Sam. You know, Matt, so nice. Matt, your brother said that we should mug you for your birthday. Just like for a good surprise. Like roll me in the parking lot or what? No. Yeah. It would it would have been so and, and, uh, fun. Mugging is that's thing. that's so like that was like my last two boyfriends. That's true, that's true. Right before I thought I was gonna die, they were like, just kidding, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> If you'd like to send Catherine birthday wishes, you can email them to she's crafty podcast at gmail.com or catch us on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Oh, thanks for reminding me how old I am. I appreciate it. Thank Happy you. birthday, Catherine. Thank you. Thank Yay. you. Thank you. This episode of the She's Crafty podcast is brought to you by RGD Designs, helping keep our beer nuts crafty through graphic design, tech tutorials, and more. Head on over to rgddesigns.com and tell them you heard about them from She's Crafty. The She's Crafty podcast is sponsored by The Hoppy Monk in San Antonio, Texas. The Hoppy Monk boasts 99 brews on tap, an extensive bottled beer collection, and an amazing cocktail selection with an emphasis on American craft whiskey and single malt scotch. And as if it couldn't get any better, the staff is knowledgeable, friendly, and passionate about craft beer. Make sure if you're in San Antonio that you make The Hoppy Monk one of your must-go-to destinations. Well, hello there, beer nuts. You're listening to episode 16 of the She's Crafty podcast, recorded live from the Hoppy Monk in San Antonio, Texas, with your beer bays, Catherine Contreras and Brandy Dunnigan. Today's episode is Beer My Valentine. Join us as we attempt to find love for one lucky bachelorette, or at least someone to share a beer with. Also joining us for some tasty talk on tap is musician Jason Christopher Trevino. And we get cozy with the luscious beer blend, the Velvet Monk. If you're hoppy and you know it, we may have had, we're here. Oh, we may have had some speaker difficulties, but we do but not. But we made it. We, that's yeah, perfect. That's yeah. perfect. We did not have difficulties in actually recording because we know how to talk into a microphone right. and we know how to record it. That's right. But I guess I just have to go back to school to become some Figure sort of PA audio out. engineer. It's fine. I know. It's not a big deal. God, you know. It's not a big deal. So welcome, you guys, to episode 16 of the She's Crafty podcast. Valentine special, Beer My Valentine. We're so excited. Ooh. We have Bachelorette Lauren here. Hello. Ready? Sexy. Ready to just take some bachelors down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for some craft brew. She's ready and some cool dudes. for some yeah. beer and some guys. Yeah. She's ready to go. She's ready to get her caucus on. <laughs> yeah. That I am. That I am. Yeah. It is all caucus eve, you know. <laughs> that it is. I love I, I like I that. caucuses are very important. Yes. I actually <laughs> used to travel around just following caucus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I love that to was, caucus. Really? Yeah. You like the Midwestern caucus? The real and big the, caucus. The, yeah. the big one. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I stood in line in Iowa for like five hours. I did. I like traveled there. Yeah. And then this guy was like, you can't get in. You're from Texas. He was like a total caucus uh, caucus. Yeah. He sounds like a caucus box. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. He I was a caucus, caucus box. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, I've, awesome. got, I've got my headphones in, so, you so can I can hear, hear everybody. everyone perfectly. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. We also have our amazing musical guest, Jason Christopher Trevino, here. Hello. Thanks Ooh. for joining us at the table. Of course. We're going to drink some beer. I'm super excited. Andrew from the Happy Monk is here. He's going to tell us about uh, what beer we're going to drink. So you want to give us a little rundown on the beer? Sure. All right. So hello, everybody. I'm Andrew. Hey. Hello. Um, so basically what we have today is the Velvet Monk. And what it is, it's a blend. Uh, it's a blend of two beers. Now we have uh, the Stoic, which is a Belgian-style quad from Deschutes out of Bend, Oregon. Um, and then we have Petrus Aged Red, which is like pretty much like a cherry sour. Uh, that's from Belgium. So basically, w with the Petrus Aged Red, it has, it's a double brown ale base, uh, just like most of, their, most of the, the sours they have, the Eau de Bruin. Um, 
It's a brown ale base, and then it has 15% of the aged pale added. Now, what the aged pale does is it gives it a little bit of dryness. Um, if you have the aged pale by itself, it's super dry. It's almost like a Chardonnay, but it's really awesome. Um, then after that, basically, they add a bunch of cherries to it, which gives it a super red color and very cherry flavor. And uh, it's, it's actually a lot more on the sweeter side than on the sour side, definitely. Um, so I... I would recommend that beer as a good dessert beer and a good starter beer for sour, sour lovers, definitely. Now, the Stoic itself is a uh, Belgian-style quad, so it's definitely boozy. It's at 10.5%, I'm sorry, 10.9%. Uh, so that, that's why it's going to be served in a smaller glass, at least the, why the Velvet Monk will be in a smaller that glass. Is a, uh, that is an um, actual FUFM beer, then. Yes. Is that yes. correct? Okay. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. All right. So from, from the Stoic, uh, they use uh, Belgian candied sugar, uh, beet sugar, date sugar, and pomegranate molasses. Ooh. And so that's going to give it a lot more fruitiness than, than, than quads already have, which mm -hmm. is really awesome. They usually get a lot of, lot of uh, dark grape, uh, sorry, dark plum, grape, um, dates as well. Uh, it just depends on the brewer itself and, and uh, what ingredients they use, obviously, to get certain flavors. But uh, quads are some of, the, some of the best Belgian styles out there, definitely. And to, to, to age it, or I mean, I'm sorry, to blend it with um, with a cherry sour, it's perfect for, for Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. That you tasty. can taste that cherry so much on this right. beer. Definitely, yeah. You're yeah. going to get maraschino cherries, uh, <clears throat> peaches, fig, and white grapes are the, are the main fruity mm -hmm. flavors you're going to get from it, definitely. Wow. And it will sneak up on you, so just be careful. Okay. Wear a helmet, you guys. <laughs> I just wanted to say that uh, I can definitely taste the grape. I can taste it. Yeah. It tastes really good. You can taste all the fruit. Like, it's it's really nice. I like yeah. this a lot. Um, Pedro from the Hoppy Monk, when he sent us the email about the beer that we were going to be having today, uh, described it as tasting pretty orgasmic. Yeah. So, so I wow. don't know. I don't know where Pedro gets his orgasms from, though. So I know. I feel so. something down there. Do you? Yeah. You feel a little tickled? A little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like the word tasting orgasmic could be taken the wrong way. Like <laughs> tasting or oh. I don't know if I want to yeah. taste an orgasm I don't taste in it. my beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, like it I, makes I, you feel like you're having I'm sure a, there yeah. is somebody on this planet that does. Yeah. So we're gonna play a dating game today, but before we do that, right, we're here to talk about Valentine's Day. This is our Valentine's special, which I'm super excited about. I'm not. Brandy, are mm. you excited about Valentine's at all on any level? No. No, not at all. I, I, I've I, never been excited about Valentine's ever. Day. Ever. Yeah. I, except for, I'd say, like, the last time I was excited, I made a shoebox. Okay. Oh, when you were a kid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is probably the last time I also was excited. Yes. I stopped getting excited when I became an adult and people started giving me stuffed animals. Y yeah. And I was like, eh. Like, you could have bought me a whole pizza. I don't, I don't yeah. love you very much. No. I don't. Mm -mm. Yeah. The only yeah. reason I like it now. I don't mind now, food though. Oh yeah, like that's what I want for Valentine's just Day. Just food. I just want like cheese and sausage yes. and crackers Me and too. hummus and champagne and good beer and that's that's my kind of Valentine's Day. Like that sounds really good. Yeah. Speaking of orgasms, that does sound quite yeah. delicious. Right. <laughs> that like, sounds I don't orgasmic. Even, I don't want jewelry. No. I don't want. I, it's because then I have to awkwardly be like, "Thank you. This is so nice. Thank you so much." Yeah. I don't want people to buy things for me. I just want people to do nice things for me. Yes. You and I sure as hell don't like, want to go anywhere. Car. Ooh, that's a good one. Happy Valentine's Day. I vacuumed your car. I'll oh my take God. it. I'll my take clothes it. are on the floor. I'll right take it. <laughs> Done. Come in with like a six pack. Yeah. Say that you like also picked up maybe some milk that I needed oh, at the store. See? Um, yeah. Bring me some food, right. adequate food for me to get stuck. Pad Thai? Yes. Pad Thai and a six pack? Yep. And Best pay, Valentine's Day ever. Pay your Netflix bill and yeah. we're set. Yeah. Uh, pay your Netflix yeah. bill. Yeah. Don't let that. And we're good. Yeah. Don't we're let good that to go. Creep what out. about you, Jason? Are you a big Valentine's Day no, lover I, of Valentine's Day? I, I, I don't really like it very much. You don't like it either? Yeah. Me and my wife will go out like any other time other than Valentine's Day. Like oh, okay. maybe, maybe we'll go. You know, our anniversary is just like the next month, so we usually just okay. kind of like forget about the whole thing. And yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll stay at home and watch like a movie or something Do like that. Do you have kids yeah. yet? Yeah, I have a seven year old. Oh, they, yeah. they so there's no Valentine's Day. Actually, yeah, you like know what? Fun. Valentine's Day is more for him, I think, now. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, you know, I do stuff for my kids. Yeah. Yes, we, I make like a cake yeah. and we eat red food or whatever. Some yeah. heart shaped pasta. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we do that. What about you, Lauren? Are you a big lover of Valentine's Day? No, I am not. No. I've never really had a good Valentine's Day. Ever. Like, I can't remember one time being like, oh. <laughs> Lucky me. I got to wait four hours at Paisano's for a table. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is so much fun. With a big bear in your arm. <laughs> With a big I bear you, I bear you so much. Yeah, no. That's not that's not my thing. Oh my Applebee's. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> yeah. Not my thing. But whatever. 
Whatever. Whatever. Fuck Valentine's Day, Fuck but Valentine's we're here to Day. celebrate it. Let's not forget that. <laughs> yeah. It's but a new year. It's why we're here. Yeah. That's why we're here. I don't even have any really good Valentine's Day stories, to be honest, because I don't remember any of them. I feel bad for people that, like, I, looking back, I'm like, fuck, that guy spent, like, $200 on <laughs> Valentine's Day, and I think I dumped him, like, Has that happened to you? Yeah. That has never had, like, oh, no, yeah. that's it. Well, I mean, maybe, like, somebody's gotten me a piece of jewelry or something. Yeah. But, yeah. I normally dated a oh, God, I hope nobody's listening. Um, I normally dated a lot of people that, like, um, I could walk all over, and so they generally, because I wanted to feel powerful, you know, because my parents made me feel so small when I was little, and so... I, I wanted to like tell them what to do, and I want somebody to listen. But my not my husband now. That's why I married him. I dated yeah. I dated all the spineless guys. But yeah, all the yeah. spineless guys just go overboard for Valentine's Day. Like the huge bears, the, right? The Vouv champagne, the yeah. the bread roses, and it's just it, it, too much. Ugh. It's too much. Yeah, yeah. This is all this is all great insight. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. we're probably Too not a very good representation yeah. of women, though, just so you know. Yeah. Like, we just want beer. There's women listening right now, and they're just like, shut Fuck your you, mouth. you, she's crafty. You're ruining it for all of us. Yes. Yeah. I, my birthday is the week before Valentine's Day, so I think that's what it is. My mom ruined it for me, because every birthday, I would always have a Valentine's-themed birthday party. Oh. Which sucks when you are 15 and you don't have a boyfriend. So I just want to make sure your mom can hear that she ruined your Valentine's yeah, Day for the rest not of your listening. life. Nobody's okay, listening. All right. Her. I'll send her a letter later. Yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> you should definitely. Just so she Send knows. her a Valentine's Day card <gasps> and write it in there. Just That's like you, you fucking do. ruined <laughs> yeah, everything. You ruined the whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. So let's, I know we kind of already talked about it a little bit, but yeah. this, this beer. Okay. So I have to say something really quick. We're, we're in this um, San Antonio craft beer group and I've learned so much just being in that group, but it's also very intimidating being in that group because people can review the shit out of some beer. They'll say, oh, yeah, I taste this, I taste this. Yeah. I can, I, they can tell you all the notes in the beer, what the aftertaste yeah. is, what, and, and we're just not at that level yet. So I just yeah. look quietly. But yeah. um, I'm just like, oh, it's another glass of beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm not. Look at that. They're drinking beer again in the beer group. That's yeah. weird. Sweet. <laughs> nice. But I do think... Um, you're more of a fan of sours. Um, I like sours a lot, yeah. Yes. I do. And I am not as big of a fan of sours yeah. unless they are blended with something else. And this this is really I good. like this. It tastes like, it tastes desserty to me. Yes. It does. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I want it with dark chocolate. It's really strong. Yeah. Mm. It's good. It's really good. It's orgasmic. Mm. <laughs> That's true. I wish I knew it's what the next level. <laughs> I wish I knew what the aftertaste was because it kind of like stays semen. Oh, yep, that, that that's it. Yep, yep. It's semen. I yep. recognize that. No, it's I a think, little musty in I the think, back. <laughs> I think the sour hangs on more at the end. Does it? Yeah, maybe. In semen. Yes. The, yeah, sour. Yep, in semen usually it, it hangs on for a few days. <coughs> I'm sorry, I brush my teeth now. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very, very nice. She's classy. She's, She's classy. classy. Oh, yeah. Awesome. You did your homework for the... Did you do any more of it or no? Nope, I did not. You've but done I, any more for our, of our branch line homework? Oh, yes, I did. You did? I did, and I made some notes, but I was trying a stout, actually, um, oh. over the weekend. What kind of stout? St. Arnold's Winter Stout. Oh, which was went, that good? Oh, uh, that was delicious. Um, yeah, we got a six pack at home and we're working on our house right now. So it's a really good excuse to buy a lot of beer. And um, yeah, we we got the six pack and wish we would have gotten much, much more. Nice. Yeah. Know, but but right. Have you had any beers lately, Lauren, that you... Gosh, any new beers? No. No. Um, I keep going back to Austin Beer Works Fire Eagle IPA. Oh, I love yeah. It. Nice. Yeah, so I had that last night. Didn't it's we really have good. some when we came up there? We did. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That was really good. It's a great so, brewery you guys should, should check out. So in just a minute, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to play Beer My Valentine, which is a little dating game that we're going to play with Lauren. But before we do that, I want to ask Lauren a couple questions about um, her and what she's looking for in a potential mate. So tell us just a little bit about, uh, like, just give us a little bio, like how old you are, what you do for a living, and all that stuff. 
Okay, uh, I am 34 years old. Okay. <laughs> I will stay 34 forever. Oh, and yeah. A definite amount of time <laughs> yep. moving forward. Um, I work in marketing for a startup in Austin. Okay. But I am on the hunt for love, so I came all the way down to San Antonio <laughs> to find to my do future it. mate. She's actually wearing a bow and arrow right now. It's really yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. So she looks like Katniss yeah. from The Hunger Games. Well, you know what? It worked for Cupid, so it it'll work well, for me. If he doesn't die first. <laughs> Wah, She's wah, like, wah. oh, I love you so much. He's bleeding out, <laughs> just bleeding out. I love you All so much, and I line. win. I yeah. win. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about like what, who, who would be your ideal date? My ideal date. That's a good question. Um, I am overall looking for just a cool dude, somebody okay. who is really laid back, down to earth, uh, somebody who has. You know, he's got to be driven and right. have things going on in his life. Yeah. But is really open to new experiences and just, um, you know, stepping outside of his comfort zone. Nice. Do you prefer them your days to be more witty or uh, dry? Well, I do like them to be very witty. You like them to be they witty? They need to be funny. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what size shoe do you need? That actually doesn't really matter. Really? Yeah. So it's I've not the size of the shoe. I've learned in 34 years. It's not okay. about the size right. of the shoe it's or good. how big the hand is. Okay. All right. I okay. I kind of agree with that. All right. We can ride that train. Uh, <laughs> what else? What else? Does he need to have a job? Yes. He must have it. Does Absolutely. it have to be a career, or can it just be like? It should be a career. Okay. Yeah. Is there? Do you somewhere. have an age range that you're looking for? Uh, I don't date guys younger than me. Ever. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I have once before. Uh huh. And it and didn't then go well. I decided well. that I'm not going to do that again. Okay. Um, I got so it. Was he like two weeks younger than you? Two he years? Was, he, was, two and a half he was years four days younger than me, younger than me oh, and it just and that is so not immature. gonna work. Yeah. Well, he started talking in hashtags, and I had no idea what oh. he was talking about. He was oh. talking to you in hashtags, <laughs> like just like at first, like trickling it in here yes. and there, and then later in the conversations, it was like hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. I was, oh. which that was a little. I much. dated this guy for a little bit, and like on our fourth date, he started using all this like tween speak. And Ooh. I said something, he was like, oh, totes, amaze, totes. And I was like, that's the no. case. No, please yeah, don't do no. that. No, yeah. you cannot. You're not allowed to touch my boob now. Absolutely. No. It's yeah. not happening. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, during sexy time, when he used the hashtag IRL in real life, I was like, no, 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 I'm done with this. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> during sexy <We're>, time? <laughs> during but, sex, he used a hashtag? I wouldn't say that we were having sex. It was just in a, you know, a little time. Kitty kitty. Sexy time. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I didn't even, acronym, and I I didn't like, even know what no, I, -I no like meant until you just told me right now. Well, I didn't know either until that moment. That's I awesome. had to Google it after the fact. That's amazing. <laughs> and I was like, mm, no. Not a good time when you have to Google during sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Hold on just one second. <laughs> I got to look it up. this out. Yeah. I got to yeah. get on Urban Dictionary real <laughs> quick. Yeah. Hang on. Just a minute. I got to see what I can find. I dumped a guy because of baby talk before. Mm. Oh, oh, baby talk yeah, is that's the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. He called me booby. <laughs> I was just like, no, we can't do this. No. no. I, dumped, I broke up with a guy one time because he used to call everybody nigga. Oh. Really? Yeah. He was and like, what's up, my nigga? And I was like, this. Wait, I'm not, how old was he? He was my age. Was, well, I mean, it was a while ago. It wasn't like. And was he white? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, he wasn't like uh, identified. Like, like, <laughs> like, no. You're like, no, it was Dr. Dre. It was, a, it was yeah. a white guy. Yeah. Yeah. It was 50 Cent. Yeah. 50 Cent calls everybody nigga. And I'm like, what a, we're on a date right now. Can you refine it for me? And he kept talking about Chelsea Handler making you all jealous. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. He was like, her vagina is so huge and you're just so small. You're like, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you're just like, shut up. Shut up, 50 Cent. <laughs> I'm a queen. Don't call me small. Don't call me small. <laughs> I'm cavernous. You want to throw a hot dog down my hallway. <laughs> or anything, really. Yeah. Shout out 50 Cent. <laughs> if you'd like to come on the She's Crafty podcast. Anytime you want. Anytime. I will pour one out for you. For real. For reals. Hashtag Aria. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get on Urban Dictionary. Right oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it down. Bring it down to our level. It's too classy today for the Valentine's special. Oh, this is like a really bad. Te I'm I'm stressing out, you guys. Why? I, this is a bad technology day for me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Your yeah. vibrator wasn't working. No. Nope. Yeah. First, the vibrator wasn't yeah. working. Then um, the the lights flickered while we were here. That was a bad sign. The speaker wasn't working. 
I'm trying to hold the Instagram camera or the Periscope camera, I feel like my head's about to explode. And I just want to go like hide in a hut somewhere where there's no electricity, no technology, and just tons of beer. See, I'm worried that I should go hide in a hut somewhere because, because we're about to do a dating game. I'm so excited. About my now. Future of my love you life. You had no idea. Might be signs and By the way, just so you know, I've already talked to all the bachelors, and they're all nervous as you are. All three of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I may have seen a urine stain. Oh. I don't know. I was like, I was what is that? I was about to say we're all the same level playing field, but apparently we're not. Or? I have not peed myself yet. Wow, well, so. it could have not been peed. It could have been something else. I don't know. <laughs> We've Gotta also cleared they're all having way better days than me. So that's really good, yeah, too. That's yeah, that's true. I actually yeah. had a pretty good day today. Oh, this that's This weather, nice. this San Antonio weather is amazing. <gasps> it's it's wonderful. It's so crazy. It's beautiful. It's like springtime it's, weather. Yeah, yeah but if perfect. it's 80 degrees in January, how hot is it going to be this summer? That's what mm. I'm worried about. Shut your mouth. Why are you going to bring it down to that level? We're just going to have to drink a lot of really We're just going to get drunk. Light, cold beer. Yeah. I'm going to sweat it out. For sure. Sweat it out. <laughs> sweat it. Sweat it out. Lauren's going to sweat it out later after she picks her bachelor. Hey. <laughs> Damn. Either either that means sexy either, time or she's going to eat a shit lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like shit. On that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My cousin knows me so well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like she's about to down on some barbecue. That's so yeah. she sweats a lot when she eats. Yeah. A little IPA. Yeah. A little Hoppy Muck Burger. Yeah. I will be happy. Happy time. <laughs> so, Jason, tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you from here in San Antonio? Yeah. Yeah. I'm from here, born and raised here. Um, I'm a musician. I make films. I teach physics during the day. Wow. What um, a show off. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. I have um, a wife and a seven year old little awesome. boy at home. So, cool. well, aren't you stuff. the picture of positivity? Hmm. It's I'm been so a, angry today. Like it's been that. a very long time, so I don't remember any sort of bad, like, Valentine's Valentine's or story. Bad I think maybe I blocked stories. it all out. I don't know. Yeah. Or yeah. just, I don't know. That's awesome. So where um, where can people find you if they want to find some of your music? Um, geez, uh, Google is the best way to yeah. <laughs> just Google Jason Christopher Trevino. Awesome. Or, you know, you can find uh, my band, The Rosedale Highs. Oh. Um, we've got a Bandcamp page. We've got a Reverb Nation page for Facebook. Nice. Just anywhere. You just really just have to go to Google and you'll awesome. find me. And now they could just replay this podcast over and over and listen to whatever songs whatever you're Whatever songs you play. Yeah. Are you ready yeah. to play a little ditty for us? Sure, let's, let's do, do it. it. If anybody needs me, I'll be crying in this corner back yeah. here. Oh. Yeah. So are we, re we going? Yeah. All right, cool. I've heard every warning Ignored every sign know it's gonna hurt me so, but I will be just fine. Refuse to take heat. I've thrown caution to the wind. Sit here and I'll confess. I know it's you that's sin in every way. It's plain to see. Just like nicotine and like cholesterol and all of those unhealthy things, this I'll take.
Sometimes we feel really tech stupid, or maybe we just drink too much, but it's difficult to drink a beer and create amazing graphics for the She's Crafty podcast. It's really hard to figure out our new smartphones and still consume our favorite IPA. So when we need help, we turn to Willie D at RGD Designs. RGD Designs is our favorite resource for just about everything from graphics to tech tutorials and reviews. Check out his YouTube channel before you dive into your next technological device. Go to his website at rgddesigns.com to see examples of his awesome graphic design work. Don't put down that beer. Just leave it up to Willie D at RGD Designs. You can find Willie D on YouTube and at his website, rgddesigns.com. Oh, this is fun, you guys. Catherine, are you excited? I'm, I can, can barely contain myself right now. Well, I'm I, would so like excited. To, I would like to tell you that I just got serenaded. Who serenaded so, you? Jason. J- oh. Yes, I played double I, mic stand, so I got I like uh, it. up close and personal You were serenation. double fisting Jason? I was awesome. double fisting, so I'm That's in a much awesome. better mood. You don't get to look until after you've chosen, because <laughs> we're not superficial, okay? <laughs> this is like the e-harmony of podcasts. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. That's it. So I'm just going to go down the line. I'm going to tell you about... The three bachelors, they all three of them sent me a little bio about themselves, okay? Okay. So, bachelor number one, who I actually know, which is exciting. What's up, bachelor number one? Uh, he's 32 years old. He has three brothers, and he's been single for one year. Very cool. Okay. Wow. So, where does he fall in age? I didn't, add, didn't, I didn't say you could ask questions. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> So this is a good representation <laughs> of who she would be on a date, guys. All right. Just take note, right? Iron fist. Take note. Indeed. Okay. Um, he currently works as a restaurant manager and is a wine buyer, oh, which means that I he like buys wine, wine that, like that, I do. That's that's I'm also a wine buyer. Lord, you're a wine buyer, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, his hobbies include music, comedy, wine, and spirits. Mm. And he's into competition. Cool. So watch out, fellas. Oh, like watch out. Ways he's going to take you down. Oh, dang. And he's a self-proclaimed foodie. Awesome. Ah. Right. So if you don't want him, I'll take him. Food is the way to my heart. Yes. I like all of that. That's right. Okay. Bachelor number two is 30 years old from San Antonio. He has a degree in communications from UTSA. Very cool. He describes himself as an unabashedly heavy metal guy. (laughs) And he He enjoys other genres as well. He is a TV and movie buff. And he has a chihuahua named Goldie. Very cool. Okay. Okay. TV show? Excuse me. What did I tell you? (laughs) Stop it. This is not about you. It's not about you. Uh, I thought it was about me. No. 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 It's my heart. Obviously, Lauren wants to pick where to eat. Lauren, just so you guys know, Lauren talks out of turn a lot. Okay? (laughs) Take a note. Take a note. I'm just saying. Okay. Bachelor number three is 28 years old, and he's from San Antonio. He is a Texas A&M graduate. Shout Lou. out A&M. So Lou. is Lauren. She's, he's currently working in sales. He is a, a proud uncle and godfather. Lauren Aww. is a proud aunt and godmother. I am. And he's a practicing Catholic. Oh, oh cool. I'm Catholic she, too. Hey, Aunt Bonnie, this one's Catholic. Um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's there. That's, that's Lauren's mom, by the way. She's going to ask Lauren's you some mom. questions later, but you guys don't make eye contact. Okay. <laughs> Um, and he's a people pleaser, and we all know what that means, so take note of that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, he put it in there, just made me think about it. Okay, so wine, all TV, right. people pleaser. That's it. I Done. Got it. I Done. like all three of these things. So we're going to have each it. of the bachelors have somebody who said a little nice thing about them that we're going to now let them sell. What, the bachelor? Do we have that? Well. Brandy, welcome um, to the She's Crafty podcast. We have one of them. No, we have we have all of them. Oh, we have all so of them. So we'll start with bachelor number one. Life is full Where's of Where's bachelor number one's uh, it's coming up? This is not his mother. Oh. Are, we could set you up next. So You're health, beautiful. Health. Okay, so this guy over here is a total sexy gentleman, super driven, and he has a huge personality. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. I'm hoping you're not related to him. <laughs> That is so nice. I have a feeling that Bachelor Number (laughs) One just just keeps people next to him that say those things about him, right? (laughs) Hey, it's his sister, but everybody takes baths together till they're 34. Listen, it's fine. fine. We're not going to judge him. We're not going to judge him. Okay, Bachelor Number Two, do you have somebody to vouch for you? She's right here. Oh, here she is. Hi. 
Are you, you're Bachelor Number Two's mom? Hi, what's your name? Oh. Janie. Janie, I'm Catherine, nice to meet you. Can you tell us, don't use his name, but just tell us why Lauren should pick him? Well, Lauren, no, just because he's my son, but <laughs> he's handsome, he's yes. nice, he's smart, he's sweet, and he's a big nerd. So if you like nerdy, yes. heavy yeah. metal person, he's the one. Aww. Perfect. Thank perfect. you. Thank you so much. That was perfect. And you're, Bachelor number two, your mom has like the most stylish eyeglasses. I love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. A little cat eye going on there. Yes. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Okay, Bachelor number three, we have a sound bite from Bachelor number three's mom. And I'm playing this for Lauren. Everybody on the other end of the podcast can hear as well. My son is a good man and uh, have a very pretty sonrisa. Is that it? That was so sweet. Okay. Another so sweet. mom. That was another, another mom. mom. That was okay. another vouch for with the mom. So now we're going to go through. We're going to ask the three bachelors four questions. At the end of the four questions, Lauren will be allowed to ask each bachelor one question of her own. One, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren, look at me. Okay. No, you can't. I Wait. can't look at you, but, <laughs> but I feel you. But you know much. what? If you were really in it, you would just look at me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, so think about what questions you... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny. It's not comedy. What are you doing? Okay. Ask them what their yeah, favorite this is hashtag serious. is. This could be the rest of your life right now. Look at this. It's happening. That's true. <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. Run. You ready? Sorry. Ready. Are you? Yeah. Okay. If you were a style of beer, what style of beer would you be and why? Oh, come up to the mic. Don't be shy. Yeah, this is a uh, I'd probably be a Saison, something crisp and refreshing. Oh. High in alcohol, best served in summer. Nice. Yeah. All right, stop showboating. Step back. <laughs> Great answer. Okay, bachelor number two. Don't be intimidated. He's full of shit. I know him. I know him. He's full of shit. He's, he's been rehearsing for days. Okay, bachelor number two, if you were a style of beer, what style would you be and why? I would be an uh, IPA because I'm flavorful with a bit of kick. Oh. oh. I heard IPA, but I didn't hear the Fla last he's part. He's flavorful with a bit of kick. Oh. So he's and into an domestic IPA violence. might be my favorite type yeah. of beer. Oh. <laughs> Bachelor number three, if you were a style of beer, what style of beer would you be and why? Okay, so I had to kind of think about this. Um, when I first signed on, uh, it was a little bit of a shock because I actually don't drink. So when I was, I saw the question and I thought, okay, what type of beer would I be? I thought about it and I would probably say Old Duels because you can have as much as you want and you won't regret it the night after. Oh, that is You know what? Good. I don't like regretting things. You can have That's as a great listen, answer. Listen, you can have yes. you can have as much of bachelor number three as you want, and you'll never get pregnant. Oh yeah, <laughs> bachelor number three just got fist bumps from one and two. Wow. I just want to I just want to put out that out there. Yeah, Wacy, Wacy's like I get girls pregnant all the time. It's fun. Yes. <laughs> it's totally fun. That was good. That was really okay. smooth. Yeah. Okay, bachelor number one, who I accidentally just used your name. Nobody, nobody noticed. Okay. Nobody noticed. What's the best date? Best day date when you have a hangover? Brunch. Definitely brunch. Okay. Get some food. food. All right. Yeah. Yes. That's a good yes. answer. You need some food okay. in that belly. Yes. Good job. Let's give him a round of applause right. for his beer. Yeah. He just <laughs> phoned. He just phoned it in. Okay, bachelor number two. What's the best day date when you have a hangover? Well, to, uh, not to piggyback off him, but the first part would be a brunch, something delicious. You know, throw a mimosa in, a Bloody Mary, another beer, get it going again. Something relaxing, maybe a movie, um, just sit and chill. Nothing active. We're not going to go rock climbing or anything, but yeah. Unless you're trying okay. to sweat it out. <laughs> Bachelor number three, what's the best day date time, you're gonna do it anyway. yes. when you have a hangover? I'm assuming it's probably Saturday, so we got to go to church to get all the sinning out of her. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good. <laughs> <A little> confession <laughs> in my life. No, but then uh, probably after we got to get some greasy, maybe watch some football. Nice. I like it. Nice. I he like wants to take it. the sin out of Lauren. Perfect. <laughs> He's going to take the sin out of Lauren. He's taking it out. That means He's, he put it there, he put in, the it first there place. in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's just point well out the done. obvious. Well played, Bachelor number three. And that was on O'Doul's. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Imagine if he drank, Lauren. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this guy's going to get fucking crazy. Okay. We don't. Does it matter? Okay. <laughs> I told you not to talk. Okay, thank you. Catherine's getting bossy. Okay, Bachelor number one. 
It's official, you've opened your own brewery. Name either your brewery or your first beer release. Ooh. Ooh. Badass you beers. To talk into the mic. Badass beers. Okay. I like it, straight to the point. Yeah. Bachelor like number it. two? Uh, I would call it Brutal Brews, Brutal Brew. That's the house beer. Oh! oh. I like good. it. That's a little Fifty Shades, I think. I'm going to take note. And then at the end of the night, if any of the people that have actually drank it can pronounce it, they get a free one to take That's home. right. Because yes. it's like brutal, brutal, brutal. Brutal, yeah. brutal, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. A lot of beef. It's a lot of beef. Yeah. Bachelor number three? Actually, uh, Wasted Talent uh, from uh, my favorite episode of Family Guy. Nice. Oh, Family Guy. I like it. I like it. Like some it. great answers. We have some yeah. really good These bachelors. These are good bachelors. Yeah. Yeah. Don't waste it, Lauren. Don't waste. There's a lot of single girls in this land. <laughs> Don't waste your talent. Don't no make pressure, me. No I'm pressure. gonna go home crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go home and tell Colby like, why can't you why be, can't like, you the be more like the bachelor? Why can't you be like the bachelor? They wanted to put the sit in her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. It's your third date. Lauren has had a teeny bit too much to drink. I'm that not gonna happened. say. I'm not gonna say that I've never seen it. <laughs> I'm just saying it could happen. She Ralphs all over the inside of your car. <laughs> what do you do? You definitely have to find somewhere safe to pull over, make sure she's all right, get her some water, napkins, and then uh, get her home safely from there, and then worry about the car later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren first, car later. I like yes, that. I like yes, that. Okay, yes. back to number two. Okay, so, um, yeah, safety is always the number one precaution. So... Definitely have to make sure she's, you know, okay. Make sure she's coherent somewhat. Um, you know, usually... She's not coherent, I'm telling you right now. I, I, I hang out with her a lot. <laughs> okay, so we have to, you know, make sure she's properly safe laying down in the back seats. You move her there. Once we get her back to her domicile, if she's got people staying with her, go get them to help me get her upstairs. Make Good. sure she's put to bed well. You want witnesses. Then I'll worry about the car later, yeah. you know. Puke, you can vacuum it out. Right. But you got to make sure that... Uh, your SO is okay. I like yes, it. Yes. I like it. Okay, bachelor number three. Well, I was seeing uh, some dogs and stuff like that. This is kind of a dog friendly spot. I was thinking, you know, you probably kind of rub her nose in it a little bit. Say, no, bad, bad, bad. You know, just so you should undo it again. No, 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 but I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I would probably be nice. I'd probably be nice and clean it up and just. Probably. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, you just put a damper on him, put in the sit in you. So. That's I would true. say maybe maybe myself or uh, get detailing something. Or, yeah. And then you got to keep the car. So uh, when you hand it down to a kid later or something, right. you have a really nice you know right. story to say mommy puked on the seat. This oh, one time mommy puked on the yeah. seat, and that's why you're here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was and the actually why. that was the original ending for how I met your mother. Yes. They, yeah. It was about it was the puke yeah. first and then the baby. Yeah. That's how it always happens. Mm -hmm. That's how it happened for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. I puked while I was getting Did today. you? Yeah, I know yeah. I meant like my mom puked first and then it was me. Oh. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Lauren. Yes. So, bachelor number one. Do you have a question for him? So, question for bachelor number one. Let's see. What is your, actually, let me take that back. So, today was a beautiful day. How did you spend your Sunday? I went to a crawfish boil. Oh. With a good friend of mine, drank some cool. beers, ate, uh, and then we continued on to tacos and tequila to drink and eat more. Well, that sounds like a perfect Sunday. And then showered up and got ready to come over here. Nice. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I like it. Cheers. Cool. Okay. Do you have a question for bachelor number two? So for bachelor number two, would it be a deal breaker if I do not like heavy metal? That's fine. That's it's completely fine with me. He never meets girls that like heavy metal. He doesn't. He can't be choosy. <laughs> it's all right. No, it's fine. I like I said, I'm open. I do an acoustic side project similar to Jason's sound, so I'm versatile. Nice. I'm completely versatile. Okay. Hey, like it. Cool. Hey, bachelor number three. Do you have a question for our non-drinking bachelor who will rub your nose into vomit? Right. Take um, the sin out of you. I'm actually a little afraid to ask a question to bachelor number three because <laughs> I'm noticing a tough love like undercurrent on all of his answers. So I'm going to pass. <laughs> oh. oh! I'm just teasing. Oh. I'm just teasing. <laughs> okay. Lauren, <laughs> you're so sassy. Oh. I was just teasing. You're very so careful. So tell me something about you that is something that you really love and admire about yourself. Um, actually, I think family is uh, 
really important part of my life, uh, being open and trying new things. This is why we're here, I guess, for all three bachelors. And um, just knowing that God is first and then everything else will follow. Cool. Nice. nice. That's a great nice. Thank you. So would you like to take a second to think about who you'd like to choose? Yeah, this is going to be a really tough choice. Okay. A lot of great bachelors. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm not going to tell you, Lord. And I'm not going to tell you which do we bachelor. Have do we have roses or <clears throat> we're not doing rose ceremony? No, we have no? some dead grass over here. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. That's what I perfect. was planning. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which one. One of them is wearing a shirt that has tacos on it. Yes. Oh. Which yes. is making me so hungry. <laughs> And I love the shirt, actually. Yeah, that's and pretty it, awesome. And he's wearing a blazer with it. Yes. We have Ooh. another with a nice, it almost looks like a Joseph A. Banks shirt. Yes. It's kind of like a nice plaid shirt. Mm -hmm. He's got it tucked in. He has some fine looking shoes on. Yes. And then we've got another that's like really casual, stylish with a button up shirt peeking out the bottom with a sweater over. And yeah. Look, all of our bachelors. Like you can't. They all brought it. You can't make a bad decision. Yeah, you can't. It's all, it's, it, there's no bad choices here. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like they're all very sharp looking. And we mm -hmm. have a range of facial hair. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Actually, That's we cool. do have a nice. We have got a nice progression of facial hair. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Just Any goatees? Uh, hell no. I chose <laughs> no. these guys. Oh no 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Any mustaches? Nope. Uh no. Nope. Oh okay. Good. No. Nope. Good, good. Cool. Nope. So when do I make my decision? Whenever you're ready. We're just waiting on you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not to not to be awkward or anything but like not that. Not to be so weird yeah. about okay. it, but not this is we, weird. Well, we do have a time frame. I really appreciate all these guys coming out tonight. Thank you okay. so much for oh. applauding. <laughs> okay. Going through okay this, this is process. not your show, so let's just pick something. Where's out of where's it. the music they play for the Oscars like <laughs> to, to drown them out? <laughs> I'd like to thank my mom tonight. Thanks for giving all my birth family to coming. me. Um, I think I'm gonna pick Bachelor Number One. Oh! I'm super excited because bachelor number one happens to be a good friend of mine. His name is Wacy Jameson, and he uh, is gonna go sit next to you right now. Like you can take off your, <laughs> you can take off your thing. Yeah. Hello, bachelor number one. A big, big, big thank you to bachelor number two and bachelor number three. You guys are awesome. And maybe if I could get your number, just in case things don't work out with my husband, you know, just so I have some backup because I trust you guys already. Yeah. But go ahead and sit down, Wacy. Yeah, yeah I'm, so, I'm so glad that you showed up. Yes, I was so nervous because I'm sitting here with a blindfold and I And now you're really a foot know. away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> From like yes. no visibility to them being very close. Yes. How was that? Because I'm, I'm just curious how that was like just hearing people's voices without seeing them and listening to their answers. How did that feel? It was a little odd, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Because you're starting to build a picture of people in your mind with every question that's asked. Oh, oh yeah. Different than dating. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, no we, bl we blindfold date all the time. That's not, <laughs> she's blind. Totally <laughs> we play this game every weekend. Our family <laughs> dynamics should not be public information. <laughs> This, this was fun. I was, was awesome. Yeah. yeah, I think we might do it again. It's, it was lots of fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you guys have the option to cash in on two beers and an appetizer if you would like to do it now or if you would like to set it up for later whenever you guys want to do that. You can let me know. Okay. Well, I have to drive back to Austin tonight. Okay. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to take a rain check. But let's definitely do that again sometime. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I like that. And um, just to make sure that you actually follow through, um, we're going to definitely check in with you guys. And so yes. cool. um, there will be a follow up. Yeah. Yes. Well, we will publicly shame you if you do not actually have this date. OK. And I'll call you over and over and over and over. But I and love over. hearing from you. That's a good thing. Oh, you haven't seen my bad side. <laughs> no. It's going to be bad. Yeah. I'm going to contact excited. you as much as I contact Catherine, and yeah. she fucking hates Look me. at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start a podcast with you. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to start yeah. a podcast. Oh. Yeah. You just Shit got wait. real. Shit you got real. You wait. Hashtag RIL. <clears throat> Hashtag. Oh. Were you listening in on that conversation, Wacy? No. About her bad, um, her bad date where uh, during <clears throat> sexy time he said hashtag RIL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an awful day. yeah it's so I would just yeah, basically what she was saying is if you could just talk in as many hashtags as possible, <laughs> definitely perfect. things will go yeah, to the I next base. Yeah. Or when we're in, you know, that situation. Right. But everything else is hashtags other than that. Yeah. <laughs> 
When we, wow, that was really positive, wow. you guys. I'm just saying. Uh, Wazie's, oh, well, Wazie's, yeah, I'm just saying. Wazie's okay. pretty confident there. Well, all right. <laughs> when when I do, I'm not going to say hashtag, I'm going to write it on your body. <laughs> When we sexy time. <laughs> when we sexy. That's why I love it when guys are like, hey, baby, you want a sexy time? And I'm like, Is, are you seven? No. <laughs> You're either seven or like Kim Jong il. I feel like you just. <laughs> you want sexy time? Oh, me sexy time real good. <laughs> sexy time long time. <laughs> oh, long time. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much. Beer my Valentine. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you. Beer my Cap. Valentine. Oh, nice to meet you. It was so great to meet you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for playing. This is beautiful. I think I might like Valentine's Day now. I think yeah, I might too. Yeah, it's, yeah, it feels good. It's refreshing. Yeah. It's yeah. refreshing. I like Love it. is in the air. Love is in the air. <laughs> yeah, smell it. Oh, that was my boyfriend. He oh. Was, like, he went inside. Oh, okay. You don't think he took a shower today? Oh, is that what love really? smells Don't like? tell him I said that. No, I'm sure he did take a shower. It was a joke. <laughs> We're still getting to know him in our family, oh, so yeah. I just wanted to clarify. Oh, he just told my mom, this is for real, he doesn't listen to the podcast because I told him not to. <laughs> he told my mom that we met on Grindr right now. Are you serious? Yeah. True story. Yeah. Did she believe him? She doesn't know what it is. Oh, until she I was like, it's a Christian oh. dating site. It's a it's a site where everybody uses the same blender. That's how you match. I in that letter where I tell her that she fucked up Valentine's Day for Catherine, I'm gonna tell her how to get onto Grinder. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know where he went. He probably got embarrassed. I think he thought he was being funny, but oh. he went inside. Ooh, yeah. he's hiding. We're two weeks away from just not working, I think. Oh. Yeah, he's hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, when does this release? Are they still going to be together when this releases? Can we do an update? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. For sure. <laughs> Before we go, our sponsor, um, one of our sponsors is the Hoppy Monk. Yes, absolutely. And they provide us with delicious beer. They do. And <laughs> We're actually, so Wacy, do you want to try this? Yeah, you should uh, try it. It's delicious. The Velvet Monk. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. really tasty. It's a blend of two beers. Because that's what a blend is. One. It's cherry sour. It is uh, half of Deschutes Stoic and half of Petrus Aged Red. That is absolutely delicious. With notes of maraschino cherries, peaches, figs, and white grapes. Can you taste it? Yeah. Pedro, the owner of the uh, Hoppy Monk, classifies it as pretty orgasmic. I would agree. Yeah? yeah Are you absolutely. feeling orgasmic yeah. right now? Agreed. Agreed. Right. Well, well, shot me in the eye. I just wanted to let everybody know that when they are listening, if you are listening before February 13th um, here at the Hoppy Monk in San Antonio, Texas, they are having a anti-Valentine's Day. If that's February 13th, and it's an oyster and beer hookup. That's right. So if you don't give a fuck about hooking up, but you want to see some oysters and beer hookup in your mouth, then uh, get on over to the Whoa. Hoppy Monk on February 13th. <laughs> Good God. Well I am well sweating now. Thank you. Thank you very I like much. It. Um, you can always download the She's Crafty Podcast on iTunes or at She's Crafty Podcast. Right, right on Stitcher at the Tasty Podcast Network. Mm -hmm. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at She's Crafty Pod. You can find us on Facebook at She's Crafty Podcast. If you have absolutely nothing else to do and you're mm. sick and you're vomiting yes. and you just want to go on Google Plus, yes. just go on there. Catherine's Maybe lonely. She start runs following the Google me. Plus. Yeah. Start following us on Google plus so that i'm not the only one googling out and nobody's returning my google what do they call that googling what do they call it when you put something on google plus google out google out they call it a waste of time That's waste like of time yeah <laughs> yeah but you can go to our website and buy our merchandise our t-shirts and our koozies and check out our blog and find us every last sunday of the month at the hoppy monk we have a great time here. We do. And remember to always drink responsibly. That's right. I like that our bachelors brought that up about yes. safety first. That's guys. right. Get an Uber or a Lyft. Yep. Drink with a helmet. That's right. That's, that's it. That's safety, right? Don't let somebody right? rub your nose in your own vomit. <laughs> your own vomit. In I was your like, Uber. Oh. Hashtag. I said be funny, not weird. Oh my God, this guy's gonna kill me. <laughs> I know well, it. Well, nose is better than nipple. That could have yeah, done, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Rub her own nose in her own nipple? <laughs> rub his. <laughs> or rub his, <laughs> rub his nipple into the huh. vomit. I don't. You know, things got weird a little bit it's after good. high school. I've got some experiences. Right. I'm just saying. It works, it works, it works. All right, All right. well, Catherine. Um, cheers. Cheers. Thank you for sticking around. Thank Peace you for being here. If you're happy Hoppy and you know, know it. Drink up here. There it is. Yeah, peace All out, right. beer Peace nuts. out, beer nuts. All right. Let's go out on a limb. Let's fill it to the brim. I know. That's why
this time's the best. Let's stay out all night long. Let's do right every wrong. I know we're getting bored, but that's why. talking about can cause a little bit more permanent damage. We're talking about love. Let's get wrecked for freedom and for truth. Let's get wrecked for memories of our youth. Let's get wrecked for ourselves. Let's get wrecked. Let's get wrecked. Let's get wrecked. Shut up and sit down.